Hey friends, welcome back. Today is Sunday and that means I am back from my weekly food pantry. If you're new here, welcome guys. One thing that you're going to see on my channel is I promote food pantries and food banks to those that can utilize them and use them to their, um, what's the word I'm trying to look for? Use them to their benefit, but not for greed. Uh, use them if you can benefit from them. And what I mean by benefit from them, are you struggling to buy groceries? Are you struggling to choose between paying your bills or buying groceries or putting gas in your car or buying groceries? Are you struggling and only buying ramen noodles or oodles of noodles or one loaf of bread and a pack of bologna? If that sounds like your case, that you're really struggling, you're stressing about groceries and not eating the things, you know, like the healthier foods or, you know, you're depriving yourself of everyday essentials. If that's you, go ahead guys and go to a food pantry. So yes, I promote them on my channel. If that's the kind of content you enjoy, go ahead and stick around guys. I would love to have more people join my ever growing family. Those that are not new here, welcome back guys. I told you that just because Josh and I went to once the, the one we went to, um, yesterday that I go to only once a month is not going to stop me from going to my weekly one. And also I wanted to share a little something you may not realize. I told you that we only go once a month to the one that I just shared yesterday. The thing is that food pantry is open three times a week. I think they said it was Wednesday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Saturday. That food pantry is open on a Tuesday, a Wednesday, a Saturday, every single week. You are allowed to go once a week. I do not go once a week to that one because what I'm able to get when I go once a month helps to supplement and fill in the gaps. And I go to the weekly ones, which are a lot smaller because that one is such a large scale. You receive an abundance of food when you go there. I have never went to that one and not received an abundance. So we being smart, I just go once a month. That helps me. And I try to go to that one towards the end of the month because usually within the first to second week of the month, I will have a monthly food pantry, which is right down the road from me. Um, but I'm back guys. I am back from my weekly food pantry. This is one that I get to shop, which means I get to pick and choose the items that I would like to grab for my family. Uh, I don't grab everything. Um, there are things I pass up on because I am a canner, I am a gardener, so there's a lot of vegetables that I have on my shelf that I put there. However, I can't survive off of just canned carrots or, you know, canned corn. So going to these food pantries helps to fill in the gaps. But I'm back, guys. Time to get you turned around and show you what we were blessed with. I mean, just look at it, guys. I mean, just looking at what we received right there granted those apples i received last week but if you look i have a bag i mean a bowl and i'm down to two bags i literally eat at least one apple a day i don't know how many other people are grabbing and eating but i put some in a bowl and we still have two bags but just look at it guys i'll start right over here this may not be farm fresh strawberries but i was very happy to take it off their hands it actually looks very lovely it's already washed and cut so I can just portion that out and enjoy that uh, throughout the week. And look at those beautiful croissants, guys. These are actually mini croissants, but they don't look super mini to me. Um, pretty awesome. That is the one thing I grabbed for my bread item because we love a good butter croissant. Back here, we received one of these, a carton of Minute Maid Tropical Punch a bag of popcorn. I did grab these because guys, I've told you over and over, I am a canner. 
I did can green beans. However, that is our favorite vegetable and I ran out. Um, and it is not time for new ones. I mean, I've got seeds in the ground, but they're not, you know, they're not producing yet, guys. They're not even plants yet. They're still little seedlings. So, yes, I have been grabbing green beans from the pantry when I go as my choice of vegetable. I pass on the corn and stuff like that unless it's one that you don't have a say-so. And there are there is one pantry I go to that sometimes I may get a can of corn because I don't have a say-so. They just give you what they give you and, you know, be happy with it. But I did. I grabbed these Italian green beans. These are your flat ones. These are actually my favorite. A can of tomato paste and... I did grab a can of pineapple chunks. I love pineapple, guys. I grabbed a box of pasta, the farfalle, I guess is how you say it. I would personally just say bow tie. But having pasta on hand is always helpful. You can make a meal out of pasta. Um, you can do a veggie meal, so you can do a pasta salad, or you can add some meat in there, whether it's shredded chicken or ground beef, whatever you have on hand. And you can bulk it up and make a full meal out of it. We have one more of these. Uh, the Triple Shot Energy Zero Sugar Coffee Drink. Box of handy dandy mac and cheese. A container of plenty of cookies. This cake right here kind of made me tickle. Why well, it tickled me, guys. It literally says congratulu congratul it was going to say congratulations, but it looks like they realized it wasn't going to go across, and it looks like it started to bleed. Um, when I say bleed, I mean the color going into the white. So, but other than that, it's a very nice looking cake, so we have that. Check these out. Now, see, these are mini chocolate mini croissants. Mmm, those look delicious. You know me and my salads, and yes, I have a lot of plain salads, uh, salad um options that i got yesterday and then they had this filling gouda salad kit i thought that was very interesting and it's got um pecans that looks like shredded maybe a shredded gouda because it says gouda what is that dried cherries and diced apples and salted pecans mm. all right guys so we have a salad kit and it looks good this right here guys check it out it is a bottom round roast a beef roast guys check out that price right there 1986 that's crazy but that'll be perfect on a busy night that i know i'm going to come home and work in the garden so i can just take and put this in the crock pot throw some of those uh mini red potatoes i got some carrots onions some of that green pepper and we could have a dinner ready when we come home i actually am debating on doing this just tomorrow i know mondays are typically my um chop challenge but i think because i've really been wanting a roast i think i'm going to keep this and put it in the crock pot for tomorrow i think that'll be super duper delicious we have one cucumber which is perfect because i can add that to my salad this is what I was saying. If you watched my food pantry video from yesterday, we got the giant bags of cereal. Well, like I said, that is a larger scale food pantry. This one is a much smaller one. And so we receive the Lucky Charms, only we receive the tinier little bags of them. Another thing of sliced American cheese, a thing of high chew fruit combos, some cold bone in chicken wings, and one singular banana that is what we received this time guys so i've already told you in the beginning if you find yourself in a position that you need food or you're struggling how am i going to get food what am i going to eat i'm running down to the last few cans in my cupboard get off your hiney and go find a food bank look in my description box there will be some links to help get you started if you're still struggling send me an email that is also in the description box i will try to find you a food bank or a food pantry within your area so again if you need help don't go hungry reach out and find your local resources until next time take care my friends